I don't know if you've been paying attention, but Africa just shocked the world and it has massive implications for the United States and for Europe. Many of our Western leaders are freaking out right now. I kind of actually enjoy watching them. Victoria Nuland, who of course helped create the war in Ukraine, has gone from DEFCON 5 down to DEFCON 1 over Africa in the matter of weeks. <laughs> It's an emergency, and she should be concerned, because this stuff is about to hit the fan. The dominoes are starting to fall, and we'll get into the important details here in a second. But first, take a look at this map, just published on Friday. These are all of the African nations that have now signed military agreements with Russia. And even a few of those in white are getting ready to partner with Russia as well. Damn, that's a lot of red. Now, we'll come back to that map in a moment. But first, this weekend, we saw dramatic developments. Russian flags raised in the air throughout the continent. First to Niger, the country that started it all. Russian flags everywhere. And according to France 24 News Service, the government of Niger has now signed a contract with the Russian Wagner Group for security. And they need it because the coup in Niger has entered the point of no return right now. The people rising up against France, against the United States influence in that country. The Western powers that have controlled Niger for decades are now being pushed out. And this weekend, the military leaders now say that Niger will no longer be a European colony. And they've demanded that all French soldiers get out now, get out of here, or face the consequences. Why does the United States even have troops in this country in the first place? Well, that's a great question. So get out of here, France, and get out of here, United States. You don't belong here. Over the past few days, the United States started dropping massive amounts of military cargo right near the Niger border with its warplanes. They are getting ready to attack Niger to try to stop it all. But that threat is not stopping the people of Niger. Tens of thousands of people marching in that country this weekend, celebrating their independence and shouting no to foreign military bases, no to poverty, no to the West stealing their uranium, their phosphate and other minerals. Get out of here now. All of the ambassador's offices to the Niger Republic Mission Service, the United States, France, Nigeria and Togo have all been terminated. All of their offices are now officially shut down by the Niger government. The head of the military just made this announcement. So other African nations are now showing their support for Niger and starting to say the very same thing. Get out of our country. This weekend, the people in Senegal rising up against Western colonial governments controlling their country. The CIA, MI6, and other Western intelligence services are doing whatever they can right now, spinning their wheels trying to hold on to power in these countries with their puppet governments. The people in West Africa are fiercely anti-American imperialism. So it wasn't a surprise then to see the country of Guinea announce they are supporting Niger as well. La République de Guinée réaffirme par ce communiqué sa vision panafricaniste en apportant sa solidarité à la population nigérienne. This is massive. Colonel Douglas McGregor says the people who've had their minerals stolen for years are saying enough is enough. Get out of my country. The Africans are, are fed up with it. And so this is an example in Niger where a, a supposedly U.S.-backed government with a U.S.-trained military suddenly turned around and said, I think all of you white people need to get out of here. We've had it with you. Go away. Go, Europeans leave. Again, we'll get around to the uranium and gold part of this story in a moment, which is arguably the most important part of this story. But first, a story that no one's talking about is the massive pipeline that is nearly set to go online. Now, it starts in Nigeria. It flows through Niger on its way up into Europe. Chevron and the United States have already invested $13 billion into this pipeline. And guess what, guys? After the Nord Stream pipeline destruction, Chevron stepped up production to get this up and running. Hey, we'll speed, you know, we'll speed this up. We'll fast track this. And now the people of Niger are saying, wait a second. Why are we going to allow a pipeline to flow right through our country so Europe can have natural gas? You are doing nothing for us. You continue to steal from us. Sorry, no more pipeline. This is why Europe is terrified this morning. The United States already blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, put their own pipeline into action in Africa. Smart business move, right? Well, we'll just blow up the competition. Imagine Walmart doing that to Target stores. Yeah, we're just going to blow up those stores. Now you got to shop at Walmart. And now Niger is saying, hey, sorry, you're not going to use our country to transport your natural gas into Europe. Get out of here. So Europe is facing catastrophe with no Nord Stream pipeline coming from Russia any longer. And now the threat of this pipeline being shut down through Africa. 
This was their salvation, this pipeline. And then add into it uranium and Europe's nuclear power. The United States gets over 50% of its uranium from Russia, despite all of the sanctions that the United States has placed against Russia. They left uranium off the list. I love this. I love that they chose to sanction every other thing, but they left uranium off the list because we need it so badly. We need it desperately. Why? The United States is so heavily dependent on Russia for uranium that Putin could literally flip a switch, literally destroy the American economy by turning off the lights. A major backup resource of uranium is Niger. The French, the United States, have been essentially stealing uranium from African countries for decades. And again, these countries are saying enough is enough. We are sovereign countries. Get out of here. We are going to keep our own minerals and make our own decisions. And Russia is giving them that option right now. We want you to keep your sovereignty. We want you to be an independent country, not a slave to the West. Listen to Africa Bureau Chief Musa Ibrahim explain how the people of Africa want to gain back their wealth, their minerals, stop giving it away to America and Europe. What people want is to gain back their wealth, the, back their ur uranium, their gold, their iron, their uh, phosphate, their oil, their gas. And this scares the West because this means the true democracy will take place in Africa when people actually own their own land and the wealth of Africa does not go untaxed, unsupervised from the mines in Niger to the banks uh, of Paris and the financial sector in Britain. And he's right. Niger's coup isn't happening in a vacuum. This isn't a singular event. They're now pushing back against this neocolonialism in a larger multipolar world, saying, this unipolar order that America has ruled for many, many years, seeking to keep your boot on the people of Africa, is not going to stand anymore. Africans are seeking to regain their national sovereignty. Africa saying, hey, we are rich in uranium, but we don't get to benefit from any of it because you steal it from us. We will enrich our own uranium and we will sell it to you and you'll pay us for it. No more theft. Africa is in the middle of a revolution right now.